All right, this one's gonna be on an Android app called New Pipe. Basically, it's a front end to YouTube, but uh, it doesn't use any YouTube API. So the good thing about that is that you don't have no advertisement. Um, you don't have no comments. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending if you like to read them or not. And it's kind of new, so it doesn't have a lot of features yet, but it works fine and I do like it. So let's bust this out here. And what do we got here? So let's search for whatever you want to search on YouTube. So let's search for my name here so we don't get any copyright. And you can watch any of my old videos and everything. So let's say for example this one. Uh, and you can see like the, the thumbnail, you can see like what the, the description is. And, I, and again, like I said, there's no comments, but you can actually play the video here. So I click on this red button here. All right, here's my take on the, the Unity interface. <laughs> so there you go, that's how um, it works. So let me right. start out by saying that. Uh, now right now the quality, um, what's the quality here? This one is uh, WebM uh, 360p, I can just say go to 720p, let's say I do that and then we'll play that again to see how it looks like. All right, here's my take on the, the Unity interface. <laughs> so you can change different um, qualities so you like. Let me start out by saying that um, there's a lot of people this and go back here. So that's how you would change the quality if you have a higher or lower connection, uh, or you want to say bandwidth. It's up to you, right? But they have different uh, qualities up here, right? Um, other stuff you can do is it, if you want to download the audio or the video stream, they have an option up here for downloads. And you can see there's the video here. If you want to keep it on your device, then you can do that. Or you want to download the audio only. Like let's say you want to. Uh, download it for music or some people do it for podcasts because they don't want to watch it. They just want to hear it uh, You can do that. So let's say if I want to download my um, Video here in audio then you can click on audio and you see up top here It says it's downloading and it's two seconds left and there you go. That's it uh, So let's open that here in our file manager just to so confirm it here So this is the one we just downloaded right uh, in an m4a format And if you want to preview it here, we'll just open it here all right, here's my take on the, the Unity interface, like GNOME 3 also. Um, so there you go, that's it for that. Uh, don't need to listen to that anymore. So let's go back to the program here. Other stuff you can do, uh, let's go to the options and go to settings. And in here they have external player. So some people like to play with a different player, mainly because they want to play in the background or at double speeds because some people they don't like to waste time they want to do it at double speed and it saves them time you can do that uh, change the location of where you want to save your downloads uh, either video or audio it's up to you and the uh, resolution by default it's uh, 360p you can go up to 720p I'm not sure why they don't have uh, 1080 but maybe in the future when they uh, you know uh, add more features that we'll have that they do have Kodi, like you can send stuff to your Kodi Media Center, aka XPMC for the old schools. Um, it's kind of like the Chromecast. You know how the Chromecast you send the YouTube videos to the to um, the Chromecast, kind of like that. But you can do it with Kodi. You can send this with Kodi uh, if you have a Kodi um, Media Center set up, right? And what else is in here? Well, the audio format. So by default, it's uh, M4A, but you can use WebM. Uh, it's up to you, right? So there you go. That's it for that. Uh, pretty much it for the program. I heard that they might have like a, a subscribe button in the future, because right now you can't even subscribe to the users that you want to watch. So it's kind of uh, disappointing here. So you actually have to just search for it right now. And like right now it works with YouTube, but I heard that it can work with other sites. So uh, hopefully porn in the future. That'll be cool too, because. You know, YouTube, I mean, you can get that with the YouTube app already, but if they had that it would work with porn or some other uh, streaming sites, that'd be great, right? And there's no advertisement, and you can save batteries on your phone or your tablet. Uh, that's why I like this one. Plus, it's open source, so there you go. Anyways, that's it for New Pipe. Uh, should be in the F-Droid repositories. Uh, just go and download that, and you'll get it there. That's it for this one.